Israel and the Palestinians. The escalation everyone's talking about. And we're here at the Gaza border to see what's really going on. For over a week, terrorist organization Hamas has been firing rockets from there indiscriminately at Israeli cities here. So far, over 3,400 rockets have been fired and counting. And the IDF has been heavily striking Gaza from above with over a thousand targets. Israel has faced criticism for the fact that the Palestinians don't have the same resources to fight. But should they? Here is the key. Israel is not fighting Palestinians. It's fighting the terrorist organization Hamas. What is it to be gained by giving them more power to kill Israelis? Because Israel is fighting terror, not Palestinians. Over 1,000 terror sites have been targeted and buildings are evacuated before bombing. While Israel is making every effort to avoid civilian casualties, Hamas is actually doing the opposite. Israel's missile defense technology, the Iron Dome, has protected civilians from the majority of rockets. Whereas in Gaza, Hamas has built a network of terror sites in civilian areas. For example, Israel bombed terrorists' house next to a mosque, and the mosque was untouched. And they've even called off strikes due to the presence of civilians. <laughs> Despite this, the IDF targets mostly empty buildings and calls in advance to evacuate sites to save civilians. But targeting weapons caches in civilian areas is incredibly difficult, especially when Hamas has built them underground in terror tunnels. Additionally, one in seven Hamas rockets intended for Israel have fallen short and killed Palestinians in Gaza. Now, there's no easy answer, but unfounded accusations against Israel can only make the situation worse. Both sides deserve to live in peace, but with a terrorist group running the show in Gaza, it looks like both Palestinians and Israelis are in the same boat against a common enemy, Hamas.